There's been a change in plans. Both AT&T and Verizon have decided to hold off on installing 5G infrastructure near major airports amid concerns the new technology could cause chaos in the air. Eyewitness News anchor Siafa Lewis joins us now with more on the compromise and why airlines are still worried. Siapa? Yeah, that's right. Good evening, Yuki. This is a complicated mess that never should have come to this point. It involves big business, dueling government agencies, and as is so often the case, the average Jane and Joe, you at home, potentially dealing with the fallout. Communications giants AT&T and Verizon spent just shy of $70 billion last year to upgrade their 5G technology, which will allow super-fast downloading and streaming on premium cell phones. It was set to roll out nationally in December, then in early January, and finally on Wednesday the 19th. But there's been one big problem each and every time. The airline industry doesn't trust the technology. The FAA lists 17 systems that could be affected, and it says the pilot may not catch those errors in time to maintain safe flight and landing. There's an instrument on planes called an altimeter, which helps pilots determine their distance from the ground. It is instrumental in inclement weather, and it uses radio waves very close to the ones the new ultra-fast 5G technology uses. The fear is one affecting the other, and thus calamity. The greatest impact now is not to safety, but to flights being canceled for fear of potential safety concerns. If you're asking yourselves what federal agencies oversee these two industries, that would be the FCC and the FAA. They've been going back and forth on this issue the last two plus years. My main takeaway is that the FAA should have addressed this a long time ago. This is not a secret. It wasn't a secret. Everyone should have seen it coming. Reports suggest that the FAA, in fact, did raise red flags in 2020, but that they weren't heated, leading to the mess before us now. We should add that we're not talking about the, the waves from individual cell phones. We're talking about the cell phone towers. Now, AT&T and Verizon have both independently decided to go ahead with Wednesday's national 5G rollout, except near airports and runways, to continue working with airlines and the FAA on their FG deployment. Both tech giants say their FG bands will not interfere with planes' altimeters. Philadelphia International Airport, meanwhile, is reportedly among the locations where the new 5G will be delayed. In the newsroom, Siafa Lewis, CBS3 Eyewitness News. Siafa, thank you.